Welcome to the 2021 Pennsylvania DMV Written Practice Test. This test has 60 questions with explained answers that will help you prepare for the test. Before we get started, we want to tell you about our DMV cheat sheet that is packed with tips to help you pass the exam on your first try. You can get it by clicking the first link in the description. Now let's get started and good luck. Question one, which of the following statements is true about drugs and driving? A. Any prescription drug is safe if it doesn't make you drowsy. B. Only illegal drugs can impair your driving. C. Even over-the-counter medications can impair your driving. D. Medications do not affect you if you took them more than two hours ago. The correct answer is C. Even over-the-counter medications can impair your driving. Do not drive after taking any medication until you are sure how it will affect you. Question 2. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration that is blank or higher. A. 0.03%. B. 0.05%. C. 0.08%. D. 0.01%. The correct answer is... C. 0.08%. Once your blood alcohol concentration, BAC, has reached 0.08% or higher, you are driving illegally if you are 21 years of age or older. Question 3. If your cell phone rings while you are driving and you do not have a hands-free device, you should A. Answer the call because it may be an emergency. B. Send a brief text message. C. Let the call go to voicemail. D. Check the number of the incoming call before deciding whether or not to answer it. The correct answer is C. Let the call go to voicemail. Holding a cell phone while driving is distracting. Let the call go to voicemail and wait until you can exit the roadway to return the call. Question 4. What does this sign indicate? A. Pedestrian crossing. B. School crossing. C. Children crossing. D. Disabled Person Crossing. The correct answer is A. Pedestrian Crossing. This sign means that pedestrians are likely to cross the road. When you see this sign, pay careful attention to the sides of the road to make sure you give pedestrians adequate space and time to cross the road safely. Question 5. What should you do if you see this sign? A. Stop and turn to the left. B. Slow down and prepare to turn. C. Slow down and pull to the side of the road. D. Check your turn signals. The correct answer is... B. Slow down and prepare to turn. Chevrons alert drivers of sharp turns in the road. If you see chevron signs, slow down and prepare to carefully take the turn. Question 6. When you see the following sign, you should... A. Continue at your regular speed because the crossing is controlled. B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. C. Stop at the railroad crossing and wait for a signal before crossing. D. Move over to the right edge of your lane, reduce your speed, and cross the tracks. The correct answer is... B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. This sign is posted at the railroad crossing. It may have a smaller sign below it that tells you how many sets of tracks are at the crossing. Question 7. Driving along the rear side of another vehicle is A. A good defensive technique for avoiding the other driver's blind spot. B. A good way to draft off the other vehicle. C. An effective way to maintain a space cushion on your left side. D. Dangerous because you are probably in one of the other vehicle's blind spots. The correct answer is D. Dangerous because you are probably in one of the other vehicle's blind spots. All vehicles have blind spots on their left sides. Do not remain in this blind spot. The vehicle ahead of you may change lanes and crash into your vehicle. Question 8. The posted speed limit on a road is 55 miles per hour. When this road is wet, A. Drive 5 to 10 miles per hour under the speed limit. B. Maintain a speed of 55 miles per hour. C. Drive 20 to 25 miles per hour under the speed limit. D. Test your brakes frequently. The correct answer is... A. Drive 5 to 10 miles per hour under the speed limit. 
Your vehicle may take longer to stop on wet pavement. Driving at a reduced speed will help you stop your car before crashing into the vehicle ahead of you. Question 9. You are traveling on a freeway posted for 65 miles per hour, but traffic is heavy and moving at just 35 miles per hour. The best speed for your vehicle is A. 35 miles per hour B. 30 miles per hour C. 25 miles per hour D. 20 miles per hour The correct answer is A. 35 miles per hour You should travel at the same speed as the flow of traffic unless it exceeds the posted speed limit. Question 10. What does this sign mean? A. Pay attention to traffic coming from the left. B. Slow down and look both ways. C. Turn around if possible. D. Traffic travels one way only. The correct answer is D. Traffic travels one way only. This sign indicates that traffic travels in one way only. In this case, traffic is flowing from right to left, and you should be careful to check for traffic coming from your right. Question 11. A blue traffic sign marks A. A warning B. Construction C. Motorist services D. Direction The correct answer is C. Motorist services A blue traffic sign marks motorist services such as gas or lodging. Question 12. This warning sign indicates A. Merge to your left B. Traffic in both directions ahead C. Median ahead D. A divided highway ends The correct answer is D. A divided highway ends. This sign warns drivers that the divided highway is ending. Keep right and prepare for any oncoming traffic. Question 13. What does this sign mean? A. Drawbridge ahead. B. No trucks allowed. C. Steep hill ahead. D. Trunk ramp ahead. The correct answer is C. Steep hill ahead. This sign warns all drivers that a steep grade or hill is ahead. When you see this sign, check that your brakes are functioning well before going down the hill. Question 14. When you see a curb that is painted blue, you know A. The space is reserved for parking for persons with disabilities whose vehicles have special plates or placards. B. You have entered a parking lot at a rest area. C. That this area is a bus stop. D. You may park here for 15 minutes or less. The correct answer is A. The space is reserved for parking for persons with disabilities whose vehicles have special plates or placards. Only persons with disabilities may park here, and only if they have special plates or placards displayed on their vehicle. Question 15. According to this sign, A. Drivers in the left lane must turn left. Drivers in the adjoining lane may turn left or go straight. B. Drivers in the left lane must turn left. Drivers in the adjoining lane may turn left, but may not go straight. C. Drivers in the left lane may turn left or go straight. Drivers in the adjoining lane must turn left. D. Drivers in the left lane must turn left. Drivers in the adjoining lane must turn left. The correct answer is A. Drivers in the left lane must turn left. Drivers in the adjoining lane may turn left or go straight. This is a regulatory turn lane sign. Regulatory signs usually have a white background and have a vertical rectangular shape. Drivers in the left lane must turn left. Drivers in the adjoining lane may turn left or go straight. Question 16. Following closely behind another vehicle, tailgating, A. Increases fuel efficiency. B. Is a common cause of rear-end collisions. C. Helps traffic move smoothly. D. Increases visibility in fog. The correct answer is... B. Is a common cause of rear-end collisions. There is no good reason to tailgate. If you follow another vehicle too closely, you will have less time to react if the other vehicle stops or makes a turn. Question 17. If the light at the intersection is a green left arrow, you may A. Stop and wait for the solid green light and go straight. B. Make a protected turn in that direction. C. Turn left or continue going straight. D. Turn in that direction only after coming to a complete stop. The correct answer is B. Make a protected turn in that direction. When the only light displayed is a green arrow, traffic coming from the other direction has a red light. You have a protected turn in the direction of the arrow. Question 18. 
you must make a written report of a traffic accident, SR1, to DMV within 10 days if you A. Plan on being out of the state for more than 30 days. B. Are in an accident that results in at least $1,000 worth of damage. C. Refinance the balance remaining on your auto loan. D. Have a driver's license issued by another state. The correct answer is B. Are in an accident that results in at least $1,000 worth of damage. This is the minimum amount of damage that requires you to file a report with the DMV. Question 19. You should usually reduce your speed when A. Passing large trucks on the highway. B. You see brake lights coming on several vehicles ahead of you. C. You are talking on your cell phone. D. You want to look at a controlled accident scene. The correct answer is... B. You see brake lights coming on several vehicles ahead of you. When you see several cars ahead of you apply their brakes, be prepared for some hazard in the roadway by reducing your speed. Question 20. Before entering a freeway, you should check traffic by A. Looking in all of your mirrors and turning your head to look over your shoulder. B. Looking over your shoulder. C. Adjusting your side mirrors. D. Using only your side and rear view mirrors. The correct answer is A. Looking in all of your mirrors and turning your head to look over your shoulder. Use your mirrors and a shoulder check to get a complete view of the traffic before entering a freeway. Question 21. If you are driving in slow, heavy traffic and must cross a railroad track before reaching an upcoming intersection, you should A. Wait until you can completely clear the railroad tracks before continuing. B. Stop between the crossing gates in case they should close. C. Stop on the tracks until there is room in the intersection beyond them. D. Seek an alternate route. The correct answer is A. Wait until you can completely clear the railroad tracks before continuing. Never start across railroad tracks unless there is room for your vehicle on the other side. You could be caught on the tracks when a train is coming. Question 22. When you approach a crosswalk where a blind pedestrian is waiting to cross, you must stop a. More than five feet from the crosswalk so the pedestrian will not be distracted by the sound of your engine. B. At the crosswalk and then tell the pedestrian when it is safe to cross the street. C. At the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to cross. D. At the crosswalk after sounding your horn to the alert the pedestrian to your presence. The correct answer is C. At the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to cross. A blind pedestrian relies on the sound of a car's engine to determine the presence of a vehicle. Park close enough to the crosswalk for your car to be heard by the pedestrian. Question 23. If you are involved in a collision, you are required by law to exchange with the other persons involved in your driver's license information and A. Proof of insurance, vehicle registration, and current address. B. Proof of insurance only. C. Proof of insurance and vehicle registration only. D. Address and phone number. The correct answer is A. Proof of insurance, vehicle registration, and current address. Exchange information with the other people involved in the collision as soon as possible. Question 24. You must notify law enforcement and make a written report, SR1, to DMV when A. You intend to file a certificate of non-operation for your vehicle. B. Your vehicle is towed for parking illegally. C. You have an accident that does not involve another driver. D. You have an accident causing injury or death. The correct answer is... D. You have an accident causing injury or death. You must involve law enforcement when involved in an accident of this nature. Question 25. If you are involved in a collision, you are required by law to exchange your driver's license information with... A. Witnesses. B. Security guards. C. Others involved in the collision. D. Your passengers. The correct answer is... C. Others involved in the collision. All of the drivers involved in the collision must exchange driver's license information. Question 26. You should leave more space in front of your vehicle when following a large truck because... A. Their heavier weight allows them to stop more quickly than you. B. You need the extra space to see around the truck. C. You'll get caught in the wind draft caused by the truck if you follow too closely. D. The exhaust from the truck will fog your windshield. The correct answer is... 
B. You need the extra space to see around the truck. If you drive too close to a large truck, your view of the road ahead will be obstructed. You may fail to see and prepare for a potential hazard. Question 27. You are driving on a five-lane freeway in the lane closest to the center divider. To exit the freeway on the right, you should A. Change lanes one at a time until you reach the proper lane. B. Carefully cross all of the lanes at one time. C. Reduce your speed before beginning each lane change. D. Travel for at least 500 feet in each lane before moving out of it. The correct answer is... A. Change lanes one at a time until you reach the proper lane. You cannot see what vehicles are doing two lanes away from you clearly enough to cross multiple lanes in one pass. Change one lane at a time. Question 28. The following yellow and black sign means A. One lane road ahead. B. Lane ends ahead. C. Merging lane ahead. D. Road narrows ahead. The correct answer is... C. Merging lane ahead. A road on the right of you is merging with your road ahead. Be alert for vehicles entering your lane. Question 29. You can be cited for speeding when driving 45 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. A. Only if you are approaching a sharp curve in the road. B. If that speed is unsafe for the current road conditions. C. Under no circumstances. It is always legal to drive at or near the speed limit. D. If you are following an emergency vehicle. The correct answer is... B. If that speed is unsafe for the current road conditions. Your speed should always be appropriate for the road conditions. Question 30. This yellow and black sign tells motorists that... A. Another road crosses yours ahead. B. There are medical services ahead. C. There is a T intersection ahead. D. They are approaching an exit. The correct answer is A. Another road crosses yours ahead. Slow down and prepare for an intersection ahead. Watch for traffic approaching from multiple directions. Question 31. If a police officer is signaling you to continue driving through a red light, you should A. Wait for the green light. B. Stop first, then follow the officer's directions. C. Follow the officer's directions. D. Stop and then make a right turn. The correct answer is C. Follow the officer's directions. Always follow a police officer's directions, even if they are contrary to the traffic signals at an intersection. Question 32. Before driving into an intersection from a stop, you should A. Look left and right only. B. Turn on your turn signal. C. Look left, right, and left again. D. Look straight ahead and to the left. The correct answer is C. Look left, right, and left again. Look to the left first because vehicles in that direction will be closest to you. Look to the right and then the left again before proceeding. Question 33. When you change lanes or merge with another lane, you A. Have the right of way. B. Need at least a four second gap in traffic. C. Should stop and check for cross traffic. D. Should rely on your rear view mirror to determine when it is safe. The correct answer is B. Need at least a four second gap in traffic. Make sure that you have enough space to move into another lane without creating risk for you or other drivers. Question 34. A pedestrian begins to cross the street after the don't walk signal starts flashing. The pedestrian is not finished crossing when the traffic signal changes to green. You should A. Proceed if you have right of way. B. Proceed if the pedestrian is not in your lane. C. Wait until the pedestrian has finished crossing before proceeding. D. Move to the far right of your lane and proceed as soon as the pedestrian has moved past your vehicle. The correct answer is... C. Wait until the pedestrian has finished crossing before proceeding. Do not enter the intersection while there are pedestrians in the crosswalk, even if they are not in your lane. Question 35. This white and black sign means do not pass... A. Another vehicle for any reason... B. Until you have passed the sign. C. Unless you are sure it is safe to do so. D. On the right. The correct answer is... A. Another vehicle for any reason. These signs are posted where the driver's view of the road ahead is limited or is otherwise dangerous to pass. Question 36. When driving on a dimly lit street at night, you should... 
A. Turn on your high beam lights to better see the vehicles directly ahead of you. B. Drive slowly enough to enable you to stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. C. Keep your instrument panel lights bright to make you more visible to other drivers. D. Drive close to the right edge of your lane. The correct answer is B. Drive slowly enough to enable you to stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. Never overdrive your headlights at night. If you are driving too fast, you will not see an obstacle in the road in enough time to stop. Question 37. You must look for bicycle riders in the same lanes used by motor vehicles because they A. Must ride facing oncoming traffic. B. Illegally share lanes with motor vehicles. C. Are entitled to share the road with you. D. Tend to draft off faster moving vehicles. The correct answer is C. Are entitled to share the road with you. When there is no bike lane, bicyclists are entitled to use regular traffic lanes. Look carefully for them because their small size makes them difficult to see. Question 38. When you enter traffic from a full stop, example, pulling away from the curb, you A. Should drive more slowly than traffic for 200 feet. B. Need a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. C. Should wait for the first vehicle to pass and then pull into the lane. D. Nose into traffic to signal other drivers to make room for you. The correct answer is B. Need a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. Allow enough space to get up to the speed of traffic before vehicles behind you arrive at your entry spot. Forcing other drivers to slow down could cause collisions. Question 39. Slowing down just to look at accidents or anything else out of the ordinary. A. Prevents rear-end collisions. B. Improves traffic flow by preventing accidents. C. Demonstrates defensive driving behavior. D. Causes traffic congestion. The correct answer is D. Causes traffic congestion. Do not interfere with the smooth flow of traffic by slowing down to look at an accident on the roadway. You may also prevent an emergency vehicle from arriving in a timely manner. Question 40. This sign indicates A. Interstate 44 is ahead. B. The off-ramp leads to Route 44. C. The exit is 44 miles ahead. D. Go right to take exit 44. The correct answer is D. Go right to take exit 44. This sign tells drivers that they must exit to the right if they intend to take exit 44. Green guide signs are meant to give drivers guidance and direction to help them get to their destinations. Question 41. What does this sign mean? A. Exit to the right. B. Keep left. C. Right lane ends ahead. D. Accelerate until you reach the exit. The correct answer is A. Exit to the right. Green guide signs are present to help drivers know direction and distance to locations. This sign tells drivers that they should take the exit to the right if they want to travel to the indicated location. Question 42. This guide sign indicates the availability of A. Rest area B. Wheelchair access C. Hospital ahead D. Handicap parking zone The correct answer is D. Handicap parking zone This sign indicates the availability of handicap parking zone. Only drivers with a disability and a valid handicap placard may park in these designated areas. Question 43. What does this sign represent? A. Driving time to various cities. B. Interstates leading to various locations. C. Number of minutes until you reach various cities. D. Driving distance to various locations. The correct answer is D. Driving distance to various locations. This sign tells drivers how many more miles there are until they reach various locations. For example, this sign indicates that there are 15 more miles until drivers reach Lamar. Question 44. What does this sign indicate? A. One way only. B. No left turns allowed. C. No U-turns allowed. D. No slowing down. The correct answer is C. No U-turns allowed. U-turns are useful when you need to travel in the opposite direction. However, this sign indicates that U-turns are not allowed. Rather than take a U-turn, you could turn to the left, turn around, and turn right in the direction you wish to travel. Question 45. This sign indicates that you are A. Required to merge. B. Driving in the wrong direction. 
C. In the wrong lane. D. Required to reduce your speed. The correct answer is B. Driving in the wrong direction. Wrong way signs indicate you are going against traffic and the chances of an accident or head-on collision are high. When encountering this sign on the road, you should always back up or stop. Question 46. What does this sign mean? A. Slippery when wet. B. Winding road. C. Curvy road ahead. D. Uneven terrain. The correct answer is A. Slippery when wet. This sign indicates that the road ahead becomes slippery during wet conditions, such as rain or melted snow. If you see this sign, you should slow down to account for slippery surfaces. Question 47. If a driver ahead of you is signaling in this manner, you know that he is A. Making a right turn B. Making a left turn C. Slowing down D. Driving straight through the intersection The correct answer is B. Making a left turn this is the signal for making a left turn. Do not pass this vehicle on the left. Question 48. When driving in fog, snow, or rain, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Vehicles GPS. D. Running lights. The correct answer is A. Low beam headlights. Increase other drivers' ability to see you by using your low beam headlights. High beam headlights can create glare in these conditions, making it more difficult to see what is ahead of you. Question 49. If you see this sign, what should you do? A. Brake immediately, no matter if a train is approaching or not. B. Speed up to cross the tracks and avoid getting hit by a train. C. Look for trains in both directions and be ready to stop if necessary. D. Slow down only if you see a train. The correct answer is... C. Look for trains in both directions and be ready to stop if necessary. This sign, which indicates that a railroad crossing is immediately ahead, should tell you to slow down. You should look in both directions for trains and be ready to stop if necessary. Question 50. Three of the most important times to check traffic behind you are A. Backing, changing lanes, or slowing down quickly. B. Backing, making a sharp turn, or crossing an intersection. C. Changing lanes, crossing intersections, or slowing down quickly. D. Backing, crossing intersections, or slowing down quickly. The correct answer is A. Backing, changing lanes, or slowing down quickly. It is logical to check traffic behind you when you are backing up, but you also need to know what is happening behind you when you change lanes. If you must slow down quickly, you must check to see how close the vehicles behind you are because they could crash into you. Question 51. Yellow lines separate A. Traffic lanes on one-way streets. B. All carpool lanes from regular traffic lanes. C. Freeway exits from regular traffic lanes. D. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roadways. The correct answer is D. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roadways. Drive to the right of the yellow line. Question 52. When looking ahead of your vehicle while driving, you should A. Scan your surroundings. B. Look straight ahead at all times. C. Keep your eyes on the vehicle ahead of you. D. Avoid looking in your rearview mirror. The correct answer is A. Scan your surroundings. Continuously check the entire area ahead of you to each side as well as the front in order to see any potential hazard. Question 53. A police officer is signaling you to drive to the edge of the roadway. You ignore the officer and flee the scene. You are guilty of a misdemeanor and may be A. Fined up to $1,000. B. Jailed in the county jail for not more than one year. C. Given a warning and a citation. D. Have your vehicle impounded. The correct answer is B. Jailed in the county jail for not more than one year. Always obey the directions of a police officer. Fleeing will generally result in a stiffer penalty. Question 54. If your car begins to skid on wet pavement, you should A. Slow down by shifting to a lower gear. B. Slow down by easing your foot off the gas pedal. C. Slow down by pumping the brakes quickly and firmly. D. Steer toward the right edge of the pavement. D. Steer toward the right edge of the pavement. The correct answer is... B. Slow down by easing your foot off the gas pedal. 
Do not make any sudden changes in your forward motion, or you could lose control of your vehicle. Allow your vehicle to slow gradually by taking your foot off the gas pedal. Question 55. If you see this sign, what should you do? A. Avoid turning left. B. Avoid making a right turn. C. Stop completely before turning right. D. Turn around and proceed with caution. The correct answer is... B. Avoid making a right turn. A right arrow indicates a right turn. A right arrow with a red line drawn through it indicates that right turns are not allowed. Rather than turn right, you should proceed ahead or turn left if allowed. Question 56. You may make a left turn on a red light only from A. One-way street onto a two-way street. B. One-way street onto a one-way street. C. Two-way street onto a one-way street. D. Two-way street onto a two-way street. The correct answer is... B. One-way street onto a one-way street. Because left-hand turns made from two-way streets must cross other lanes of traffic, they cannot be made on a red light. The only condition under which you may make a left on red is from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Question 57. If you see a pedestrian in a mid-block crosswalk, you should know that... A. The pedestrian must yield right-of-way to vehicles. B. Vehicles have the right-of-way but are legally responsible for the pedestrian's safety. C. Only pedestrians who are blind have the right-of-way in this situation. D. The pedestrian has the right-of-way. The correct answer is... D. The pedestrian has the right-of-way. Pedestrians in a crosswalk always have the right-of-way. Allow them to finish crossing before proceeding in your vehicle. Question 58. The maximum speed limit for driving in ideal conditions is a. The speed at which you can maintain control of your vehicle b. The speed at which most other vehicles are moving c. The posted speed for the road or freeway you are using d. Whatever speed allows you to maintain a two-car length distance from the vehicle ahead of you. The correct answer is c. The posted speed for the road or freeway you are using. You may never drive legally above the posted speed limit. Question 59. Cargo extending more than four feet beyond your rear bumper. A. Must be marked with red flags or lights. B. Is illegal under all circumstances. C. Is not permitted on freeways. D. Must be marked only at night. The correct answer is... A. Must be marked with red flags or lights. If the load is not marked, another driver could crash into the cargo. Mark it clearly for the safety of all drivers. Question 60. You should not cross a solid, double yellow line in the center of the roadway to A. Make a left turn. B. Pass another vehicle. C. Enter an alley. D. Enter a private driveway. The correct answer is B. Pass another vehicle. Do not cross double, solid yellow lines to pass another vehicle. After yielding to through traffic, you may cross these lines to turn left into an alley, private road, or driveway. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more practice tests.